Hello there, confused students of the Priory Academy LSST. Um, basically, I had nothing better to do tonight, so I thought I'd make a video tutorial on how to access the Citrix server from home. Um, I've installed the Citrix on about four computers now, and not had a single problem. Um, according to your Facebook posts, it seems to confuse quite a lot of you, and so I thought I'd do a video tutorial on that. So, um, without further ado, is how to install Citrix. Okay, so the first step on how to install the Citrix client at home is to go to the Priory Academy LSST website. As you can see, I'm already there. Um, if you scroll down the page, right down to the bottom, you'll be able to see these four links here. Email, SharePoint, Apps and ePortal. If you click on the Apps button, it shall take you to a page that looks very much like this. Once at this page, type in your username and your password. That should take you to a page something looks something like this. If not, it should look something like this. Um, if it looks like this, click the download button and it shall take you to the Citrix website. Uh, you then need to click on this button here called Client Center. Click on that Client Center button and it should take you to this page. This page has desktops here um, and I'm running on Windows 7 so I would click the Windows link. It brings me to this page with a download button here in the bottom right. Click on that download button and it should bring up a download screen here. So if I click on Show All Downloads, it should show my downloads here. It says Citrix Receiver. Okay, so you click Keep or Save, depending on your operating system, and then you wait for it to install. Once installed, you click on the Citrix Receiver.exe and then click the option Yes. This will then start installing the Citrix Receiver, as you can see. Um, the install may take quite a while, depending on your process speed, etc., um, and your internet connection. And so I'm afraid there's no fast way through that, so you just have to wait until it's installed. There we go. My installation was completed successfully. Okay, so you click on the OK button, and then you need to go all the way back to the Citrix website. Um, it says what well, if the installation was successful, click continue. Click continue, and it should bring you to this page. Then you need to log off the school website and return to the logon screen. At the logon screen, click on this link at the bottom of the page here. Uh, this will take you to a page like this. Seeing as I'm Windows 7, I click the Windows button. If you're on a Mac, click the Mac button. Um, this should bring up a Citrix Online Plugin Web.zip. Um, if you click on this, it will bring up my WinRAR. Um, and you click the intermediate.scrt. Click that. It should come up with this page. This page is a certificate which just author authorizes Citrix. Okay, you click install certificate, you click next, next, and finish. The import was successful. You click OK, and then click OK on this. If you click on this, it's just the same thing you've downloaded before. So it will say, once you click yes, it will say all components are in containing this package are already installed. So you don't need that anymore. That's that. Click here. So let's click there. And you just type in your username again and your password. And you'll bring you to this page. Then you click My Documents. Now, this may take a while to do, obviously, because it's a slow system. And there you go. It'll say My Documents Starting. As you can see, mine is just about to finish starting. Um, it should bring up two windows if you have Windows 7 uh, at the bottom of the page here. Um, once it's finished starting, um, it will say, bring it up again, and it will have uh, a page which says, starting my documents on it. If you're on Windows 7, you can see the little window there, starting my documents. Um, and then finally, you will be able to access your user area. Um, so you can access the subjects, uh, whichever subject you want, general studies, not a very exciting subject, and etc. You'll also be able to take the documents out, paste them onto your um, documents, and etc. So that's how to access Citrix. Um, I hope this tutorial helped. Um, if not, you've got any questions, uh, 
feel free to message me on Facebook um, uh, and any other way you can think of. Ask me in school, whatever. Um, I'll do my best to help you. But um, that is basically the basics of installing Citrix. I know it's not the only way, but it's the way that works for me. Um, and there you go. Um, confusion over. Bye.